It is 628 now and today Apple will announce the new iPad 2. It is an updated version of the company's revolutionary, innovative and unique touchscreen tablet computer. But is it right for you? California's top Apple consultant, Dylan Stewart, the Mac Whisperer, has the scoop on what you should do. He joins us in the studio. Thanks for coming in. So glad to be here, Mike. Thanks for having me. First of all, let's let's get to the iPad, and then I want to get to what you were saying about laptops, because I think it's going to blow <laughs> people's minds. But uh, talking about the iPad 2 that's coming out, uh, just preliminary you know, observation from you. Good, bad, what do you think? I, I actually am excited about it, although okay. I think it's not for everybody. I think the most important thing to talk about is what's different between the iPad 1 and the iPad 2. Okay. Okay. We expect it to have a slightly thinner form factor, a faster processor, greater capacity for storage for apps and your photos and your music and all of that, and most importantly, a front-facing and a back-facing camera. This is going to allow you to do video conferencing off your iPad. Oh. So, I thought you were just going to say pictures and you went to video yeah. conferencing. And that's. But what, what about the thing about the flash drive? Have they resolved that issue as far as you mean the, you mean viewing flash on websites? Yes. It, it's not available on the iPad 2. It will probably never be available on an you Apple device. Okay. I actually believe that flash websites are on the decline. There are still mm -hmm. a lot of them that are still out there, but more and more are changing to a different format that's more compatible and less of a memory hog. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, let me ask you this. The iPad 2, the big announcement is going to be today. Just a few months ago, everybody was crazy about the iPad 1. Should people hold off on buying the second version until they get the bugs worked out or maybe another version coming out? Well, generally, people say don't buy the first version of anything. Okay. So this is the second version. This has gotten the majority of the bugs worked out already. And having that camera added on is a huge, huge benefit. So if you've been waiting for a way to do video conferencing, to do your Skype to do uh, conversations with maybe family members or people that you work with that are away from your hometown, this is a great device for you. However, if that's not important to you right now, mm -hmm. there's the rumor that the iPad 3 is already in the works and really? may be released in September. And uh, it's important See, to understand. September. <laughs> well, it's important to understand that Apple generally releases their products in a one year cycle. And so the iPad was last year's May, June release. And right. so we're on that cycle, but I believe that Apple wants to move that cycle to September for the before school purchases. Oh, they have okay. an announcement at the beginning of September for new iPods every year, and the rumor is is that the iPad will join that cycle and they would have to release a third one for this September to make that happen. Okay. So uh, so Crystal's good. I mean, we both have the iPad original, so we we're going to be in trouble here. Crystal so has yet to purchase, so she's good. I won't good. buy the second. I'll wait till November and <laughs> buy the third. Talk about what uh, is, is there anything negative aspects of the iPad 2 in your estimation? That well, you've... the first thing is there's no physical keyboard, so people oh. that are not used to typing on a screen, that can be really difficult, especially if you put a lot of documents together in your business or in your right. what you do at home. That's the first thing. You can have an external Bluetooth keyboard connected to it, but that's just one more thing to carry around with you. Right. So that's the first attraction. As you mentioned, not having the capability of flash <laughs> is the second attraction that's going to have some people wait a second before going into there. There are still mm -hmm. some websites that require that flash. And the other thing is that as soon as the iPad 2 is released, the iPad 1's price is going to drop in half. Mm. So if you want to buy an iPad and you don't care about the camera, get the iPad 1. It'll be available on Craigslist. It'll be available used. Your friends, Mike mm. perhaps, <laughs> might sell yeah, you his I iPad always, 1. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be upgrading because I need the camera, but I know that my uh, my son and my wife are extremely excited to get this baby on their hands. So. Uh, we're, we're out of time, but I want you to quickly say, you believe that this, the tablet's going to one day very soon replace the laptop possibly? I, I believe this is where we're going. Touch screen is where it's at and I believe that in the next two to three years we're going to see laptops minimalized and we're going to see tablets take full advantage of this marketplace. Mm -hmm. wow. So get ready for your laptop to be obsolete, get ready for wow. keyboards to be a thing of the past and get ready for touch I to be the new way board. you do computing. Yes, you need to join. I, I, yeah, no. should give her our membership I, cards. I still have a typewriter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Donate that to the museum. All right. I'll just leave that alone. Joe Stewart, thank you so much for coming up. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. I have a free report on my okay. website. If anybody's interested, I have 50 things that you can replace by purchasing an iPhone. You can get it by sending an email to dylan at itwithiq.com. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for thank having you. me. Thank right. you Thanks, very Dylan. much. Thank you. Very